Well, it's Organic Friday once again, and we're here to talk about another class of organic reactions. Today we're talking about esterification reactions. And these are very important because esters are used industrially as artificial flavorings and fragrances. So it, this is a very important reaction in synthetic organic chemistry. The basic pattern for esterification is that we are going to react an alcohol with a carboxylic acid. So the alcohol is an carbon-containing group with an OH. And of course, we know carboxylic acids have this functional group. We're going to make an ester and also produce water as a side product. All right, so here is the picture form. Here's our carboxylic acid. Here's our alcohol. Um, they both have carbon-containing groups, which I've called R and R prime. They may or may not be the same. And we're going to link them together with this ester linkage. And, of course, water is the other product. You can think about this as a form of dehydration synthesis, right? What we're doing is we're taking out the H2O as we put them together. If that helps you to remember the pattern, fine. So let's go ahead and look at an esterification reaction, a problem you might be asked to do in a test situation. So we are going to react methanol with glacial acetic acid in the presence of sulfuric acid. Now the sulfuric acid here is actually a catalyst. So we'll write it over the arrow. Alright, so we have methanol, which is CH3OH. We are going to react it with glacial acetic acid. Glacial meaning that it's the concentrated form of, of acetic acid or ethanoic acid. It's got two carbons in it. And we are going to remove two H's and an O to make our ester. So we will end up with Methyl ethanoate, that's what I just drew here. And the other product will be water. So this pattern repeats itself over and over again. Right? You can have lots of different alcohols, lots of different carboxylic acids, make lots of different things. Wintergreen, spearmint, banana flavoring, all kinds of neat stuff you can make with an esterification reaction. I hope you found this helpful, and we'll talk another time.